Radio show host Tammy Bruce joins us tonight. She's been watching carefully. So it's, don't you think it's interesting? I mean, if, so if you're making the case that Trump is kind of out there and he says things that are ill-considered and he's profane, you know, that's all kind of true. Wouldn't your response be, I'm the responsible one? Instead, they're out trumping Trump by like 3x, and they've gone so crazy that they may not even win the House back. Why are they doing that? Well, look, I, these women are making Trump at this point look like Sir Galahad exactly. uh, when it comes to their behavior. And I think his third and fourth terms at this point have been pretty much secured after uh, the, this, this, these displays. <laughs> it's totally uh, true. Be, be, this is, it's not new. I mean, what's happened is because of their rage, that the curtain's been pulled back. They just don't care about hiding the nature of who they are. You didn't mention Sally Field. Sally Field, the actress, the flying nun, uh, uh, also defended the use of, of the C word. Uh, and at the same time, what she's saying is what they're trying to do is normalize the debasement of women uh, in the name of being able to attack a woman with whom they disagree because they think she's conservative. But of course, the irony is Ivanka is not a conservative. It is a meltdown, but it is a reveal also, I think, why someone like Weinstein could survive so long in that no, world that's right. when you when you're willing to reduce and have no principles when you refuse to stand up for what's right because someone's a political opponent that anything goes so the, the American people are seeing what this means they're seeing that that this is certainly not a, a, a framework not only of their values but of a, of an a kind of an ugliness now. At the same time, look, people in media make mistakes on the fly uh, that we know this. You genuinely can regret something and apologize. The problem with what the Samantha Bee dynamic represents, which is different to some degree from Roseanne Barr, who's doing a tweet. It was right. scripted. It was well, exactly. clearly edited uh, with with an editing team. Uh, then it was taped. Then it aired. Then it was put on social media and it was promoted. And when those vile misogynistic words started to trend on Twitter, her executive producer was excited. Well, um, so that's that's the thing. And by the way, we should point out that she works for the same network that owns CNN. And look, I mean, I've worked in newsrooms my whole life. I use vulgarity. I enjoy it. Um, I, you know, I don't want to be a blue nose about it. But that one word that she used, I don't yes. know any man who uses that word no. because it is kind of the one word that is actually degrading. It's the thing that feminists are always telling us. But that word really is. Why that word? It, it, it's fascinating. It reduces us to a, to a vile terminology, to right. a, a part of our body, into the ultimate debasement of who we are as women. And this has transcends politics and party and everything else. This is about a loathing and hate. They have no other, they have no ideas. They see the president is successful. We should all be happy that he is because of the nature of what he's been able to accomplish. And yet, because they don't know how to counter it, it, it returns into this, you know, ultimately, it's the fraud of people like Schneiderman or Weinstein, the nature of this kind of attack, the misogyny. That was my first book in 2001. That misogyny and sexism, the homophobia, uh, racism lives on the left. And again, it's not about uh, if you don't like something someone has said, we can all deal with that. Right. And, we can, and we've, all, we've all made mistakes. This is a concerted, scripted attitude. And then for other women to to support it and try to normalize. Sally Field is well liked to some degree. To try to normalize this debasement uh, means we've, they at least have gone off the rails. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I get that people have you know, disagreements with Trump, but these sure. people are scary. I mean, I don't think they should be anywhere near power. They're starting to really scare me. I'm not just saying that. I watch this stuff every day. Anyway, Tammy, yeah. great to see you. Thank Thanks you for having for me that on. smart Appreciate analysis, it. always. Thank you.